السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to Haseem Electronics Friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate I am going to share a very useful technique to troubleshoot a LED lamp There are LEDs, light emitting diodes and there is our small circuit We will see in detail We can see it have a very dim light It is not bright I applied voltage this time I made my room dark to show you this lamp it is not working how we can test it how we can troubleshoot it we will see in detail in this video if you are new to my channel after watching this video if this video is good for you there is some useful material for you you can subscribe first of all I am going to heat up uh, using hot air gun this corner which is uh, connected to plastic and uh, this transparent glass carefully use a sharp knife or a sharp screwdriver sometime it is connected with a glue adhesive or sometime it is uh, by punch fitting by press fitting so you can use a heat gun it is a very useful first of all we will open this carefully open this now I opened it you can see there is uh, some glue or silicon type material which is adhesive remove it now carefully remove the circuit uh, from the body like this now I applied voltage in the dark room we can see the LEDs are not too much bright they are not producing uh, sufficient light we will see what is the reason why the all LEDs are not illuminant it should be illuminate it should be give a good light we can see there are two pieces one is LED lamp panel and the second is power supply there is a inverter circuit inside this switch part power supply that there is this is LED panel there are series LED how we can test first of all I will demonstrate cold testing testing without voltage and the next step I will apply power and I will show you how to demonstrate how to troubleshoot first of all connect to check multimeter I set it, it set it to continuity diode mode and I apply to the LEDs if LED is not glowing you can reverse the leads here this LED is glowing all LEDs we will check one by one if any one LED is not showing something you have to reverse the leads as I reverse the leads we can see we can check one by one because it these LEDs are in pairs in uh, sorry not in pairs in series some set we can see this LED is most brightness so it is not good every LED should give a uh, equal brightness any LED that is not working we will make a marking we can see this is illuminant it is giving illumination it is bright this one is not working I marked it up we will check it we will check one by one actually what happens this power supply circuit takes uh, 230 volt 220 volt from our line voltage now I will separate uh, this holder connector carefully using a sharp knife we will remove this there are two wires one wire is connected to input terminal with a fuse resistor this is fuse resistor I will demonstrate how to test this fuse resistor sometime uh, due to over voltage 
this fuse resistor is burn out you have to replace just a very low price we can see it is 5 ohm fuse resistor sometime 5 ohm sometime it is 10 ohm this is 5 ohm then there is a circuit this circuit is very simple circuit it takes 230 volt then it uh, converts into DC voltage with a bridge rectifier and after that there is a switch mod circuit inverter circuit after that a rectifier it takes 230 volt and then it makes a DC voltage that is isolated voltage to apply this circuit I will uh, connect these uh, heat shrink sleeves to the crocodile to make insulation I have uh, a complete jig for circuits but uh, now to make it easy for everyone I will demonstrate now I will connect power before this that was a cold testing procedure now it is called warm testing live testing I will apply voltage and we will check it in detail carefully when you are working on an electrical circuit ele electronics electrical live circuit when there is a line voltage you have to take care special care because it is uh, sometimes becomes very dangerous safety must be observed every time you have to observe safety now I connected a voltage to the line, sir, line socket we will connect this circuit to the line voltage and now I will uh, demonstrate how you can find where is the problem first of all you have to find the problem I will show you set AC voltage and check it at input terminal it is 231 volt after that there is a DC stage a rectifier at a capacitor at capacitor it should 333 volt after rectification on the capacitor you will find 300 plus volt and at the output open open load it is 155 volt when we will connect LED terminal it will drop down to 80 volt or 100 volt like that first I remove the marked LED which was not working I connected it to power supply circuit and I make a jumper to demonstrate because it is in series these LEDs are connected in series circuit we can see some LEDs are working and now there is an other LED which is uh, red marked we have to remove that one also and we will check voltage now first of all I will demonstrate how you can check connect to DC voltage and check voltage we can see 1.5 volt 1.54 volt when there is open circuit in series the open circuit takes or drops maximum voltage due to infinity resistance it is 100 volt so every LED must take equal voltage this LED which one taking 100 volt I removed it by the cutter uh, we should use uh, hot air gun but I am using to demonstration now I removed it and I applied a jumper I will apply a jumper I removed just the upper plastic I did not remove from the circuit it is just to demonstrate after that I will replace these LEDs and we will reassemble it to a serviceable condition now I, I bypassed, I made a jumper for the bad LED, for the unserviceable LED. We can see it is a bright. It is now functional. But we have to uh, remove this jumper. I will remove this jumper. And I will remove the contact 
contact of the LED so that we can install a new LED. It is very cheaper. You can find about uh, 20 or 25 or more than this LEDs in one dollar. So it is very cheaper. If you can repair LED lamps, it's very useful. It's a very useful technique. So because it is in divided in portions, this portion, one portion we have cleared because it is in series parallel circuit. We can see this LED, it is 7.5 volt, this LED 7.4 volt, 7.5, 7 7.2, 7.4, 7.2, oh this LED taking 96 volt, so this LED is bad. Any LED taking more voltage, voltage drop is uh, extra, we have to remove that one. This LED, we can see other all LEDs are taking 7 volt. So this LED is dropping the voltage for the other LEDs. So we have to remove this one because this is taking 98 volt. All LEDs should drop equal voltage in the CD circuit. So this voltage, these are abnormal voltage. This voltage must be equal to the every LED so all LEDs can function. We will have to remove this LED. I will remove power and this LED. We are already uh, marked it because it is was not giving a good continuity in cold testing. Now I will make a jumper. Just I have to remove the insulation, the metal uh, plastic part of the LED and now we will connect it. We will uh, bypass it, the two terminals of the LED as a jumper circuit. So I jumpered it, I bypassed this LED, we should not bypass, I will remove this three LEDs because uh, this circuit is not working properly so any bad LED we will remove that oh wow it is working it's working that's good so friends I I discussed two methods to repair this uh, LED panel how the first one the first method that is cold testing you have to test using continuity or diode mode and the second method apply voltage and measure voltage across every LED individual LED it must be equal in the circuit if anyone LED is taking more voltage that means that LED is not good you have to remove that one and you have to replace that. I will replace this LED and the other two LEDs. You can see these three LEDs I will replace now. I will uh, purchase new LEDs. So maybe uh, we can see every LED it is uh, very cheap uh, with respect to the complete LED lamp. Uh, now I will discuss how it works. First of all it takes uh, 200 20 volt or 110 volt which uh, which one is line voltage available in your country after that there is a power supply circuit I will discuss in detail there is an other very detailed video for switching mode power supply how a switching mode power supply works now I am making a block diagram the block the first block that is a power supply circuit and there is LED circuit LED series panel. These LEDs we were testing in cold testing and warm testing. These all are connected in series. If anyone, I uh, I have already uploaded a video what is series circuit, what is a parallel circuit. 
uh, we can discuss we can we can understand the, uh, from that video I will give link in the description so in any CD circuit if any one component is fail all the circuit will dead all the circuit will stop functioning uh, how is uh, working this circuit first of all takes uh, 220 volt then there is a bridge rectifier uh, sorry it was a uh, defocusing of camera so it is uh, taking 220 volt then there is a capacitor after bridge rectifier that takes uh, gives us uh, 330 volt then there is inverter circuit that's called uh, SNPS switch mod power supply circuit we can see here we receive 230 volt after that there is a capacitor this capacitor normally this capacitor normally marked as a 400 volt then there is inverter circuit what is inverter circuit one is I, there is a IC and transformer and after transformer there is a rectifier circuit and one capacitor for uh, removal of ripples this rectifier circuit after rectification DC voltage here is 100 volt approximately with load 100 to 120 volt with load and uh, if you will test uh, while removing a panel LED panel you will find 150 volt 160 volt so now I will apply power and oh it is working and we will measure voltage you can check it now I will demonstrate now uh, AC voltage the input voltage here is input voltage it's about 230 volt 232 and then we will switch to DC voltage and we will check the output of the bridge circuit if you cannot find voltage here 300 330 volt then uh, the bridge circuit or the capacitor is bad you have to replace that one if the input is not available then you have to check the fuse now we will check the output of uh, the circuit it is about it should be about 100 uh, around 110 120 volt I as I told 80 volt to 120 volt so it's working here is 100 to 120 volt normally because uh, I removed uh, three LEDs so there is a excessive voltage drop due to decrease of resistance these voltage are feed here friends how did you find this video if this video is uh, useful for you good for you you can like subscribe share and uh, hit the bell icon button for my future videos these LEDs are in series if any one LED suppose this LED is not working you have to check the voltage across this LED if it is giving a full voltage or approximately full voltage that means this LED is open circuit because uh, when there is a open circuit or uh, malfunctioning it drops maximum voltage this circuit works like this so you have to replace this LED Thank you for watching. Every LED must be uh, drop same voltage. It should show a maximum equal voltage. If there is abnormal change in a series circuit, that means you have to replace the component. If you are new to my channel, subscribe and thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.